Well, a cold front passed through Connecticut today. It brought with it a few sprinkles, and it also brought an end to the uh, balmy weather that we had that peaked on Thursday with uh, temperatures in the upper 70s. But early warning pinpoint Doppler shows that the uh, rain is gone. We're scanning the state dry, and it's going to be dry the rest of the weekend. In fact, we have uh, some partial clearing over Hartford right now. Uh, the sun went down a little while ago at 555. The temperature is now 62 degrees with a northwesterly wind at 12 miles an hour in Waterbury. It's also already dipped into the 50s, 57 there with the north northwest wind and in New Haven at 63 degrees, also a north northwest wind. You can see that blowing in the flag and that is the uh, wind flow that's going to bring in the cooler air for tonight. So we're in the low 50s in the northwestern part of the state, 62 in Hartford and still over 60 along the I-95 corridor. But later on tonight, a lot of outlying areas are going to be dipping into the 30s. Right now we got a northwest wind across much of the state. But it's calm in Danbury, calm in Willimantic. Bridgeport, though, has a wind out of the northwest at 13 miles an hour. So the showers are gone and the clouds will clear away. All these clouds to the east of New England, that is associated with distant Hurricane Epsilon that's going to be passing uh, to the southeast of Newfoundland during the day tomorrow. So some uh, good surfing conditions, but rough surf conditions along the New England coast, but that's really about it. All right, uh, clearing skies for tonight on Futurecast. Tomorrow morning is going to be mostly sunny, and I think we'll see partly to mostly sunny skies a good part of the day. Then clouds will take over by evening, and then with the front to our south, here comes the rain. Periods of light rain on Monday in the morning and also even uh, some lingering showers and drizzle during the afternoon and get used to it. We're going to be dealing with the clouds and rain on Tuesday as well. In the tropics, of course, there is Epsilon, but we have a brand new tropical depression in the northwestern Caribbean, and that is Tropical Depression 28. That's forecast to become Tropical Storm and possibly Hurricane Zeta. When that happens, it's going to tie the record for the greatest number of named storms in a season that was set in 2005. How about that? But the bad news is that by the middle of next week, Louisiana could take yet another hit. They do not need that. So lows later on tonight, 30s inland, low 40s along the I-95 corridor and highs tomorrow are going to be in the 50s. So mostly sunny day with some clouds later on in the day. All right, then Tuesday, Monday and Tuesday, clouds with occasional rain, lows in the 40s, highs in the 50s, 52 on Tuesday. We may get a break in the wet weather on Wednesday with uh, just a chance for a shower and then more rain developing Thursday, lasting into Friday morning. And as that storm pulls away, it's going to turn breezy and chilly. Most of next week will be in the 50s, but uh, will be hard to get up to 50 on Friday. And look at Halloween next Saturday, a mostly sunny, beautiful day with a high of 55. And it looks like we'll be dipping into the 40s for Saturday evening. For the shoreline tomorrow, for your Sunday, a crisp, cool autumn day with a high of 57.